Everyone, thanks for joining us. Hope you weathered the storm okay. Our guest this morning, the newest entrant into the race for governor of Massachusetts, Attorney General Maura Healy, now serving her second four-year term as Attorney General. General Healy, welcome. Great to be with you, John. Good to have you here. Now, many Democrats wanted you to run four years ago. You declined to, other than the decision by Governor Baker not to run again. What's the difference between then and now? Well, I was seriously considering this before Governor Baker made his decision, and I have loved my job as the people's lawyer, John. I have loved the opportunity to spend time in every city and town, to work with residents, to meet people where they are, and to work through my office to try to make a difference in people's lives. Right now, we face a time of tremendous urgency. As we move through this pandemic, we need to get our economy back on track. We need an economy where everyone is going to thrive. We need to address our climate change uh, situation. There is so much work on so many fronts. And I just believe, John, that I am the person with the skills, the experience to move us forward in this, in this really great state. If he had run again, would you have passed again? Governor Baker made that decision, so I don't have to weigh in on that. I will tell you uh, that I have appreciated the work that we've been able to do together. I think we've demonstrated how you can collaborate and work together, uh, particularly around the opioid crisis, to get things done. I think that's what people look for in government. And I also look forward to new opportunities. I think as we come through this time, John, where so many people are hurting, uh, people are experiencing real shocks in terms of the, the high cost of living. We've got to do everything we can to drive those costs down and to move us forward. And I look to be a governor who can do just that. Well, uh, let me pick up on that. When Governor Baker announced he wasn't running, I talked with a number of members of the business establishment, Democrats and Republicans, who were concerned that you would somehow be anti-business. What, what do you have to say to them? I think if you read some of the commentary of business leaders, you will find that they think I am a person who has been very open to communication, has listened. We've actually find way, we found ways to collaborate and work together. And I believe in Massachusetts, John, where we have the greatest collection of human capital, intellectual capital, research, academe, institutions, tremendous economic drivers when you look at some of our industries, this is about coming together. And I can say, as a, as a former basketball player and point guard, that's what I'm looking to drive. That's what I'm looking to do. We can make great things happen for people all across the state working together. Well, give me a quick example of what you see as a very pro-business aspect of your platform as a candidate. Well, I think business benefits when every family is doing well economically. Every family sees an opportunity for mobility. And I think that some of the things that I've been talking with business leaders about include things like workforce development. We've got a lot of jobs that are open there right now. We need to find ways to train up people to fill jobs that are readily available right now in our state. We what are we going to deal with child care because that is holding so many people, including women, back from returning to the workplace. That's a good uh, point. But getting back to workforce development, every governor and gubernatorial candidate in my lifetime, and as you know, I'm well over 125 years old at this point, has said they want to improve workforce development. What are we briefly, what are we not doing now that we'd see a Governor Healy do? You know, I think you'd see a Governor Healy do what I've done as Attorney General. That's to make connections and make things happen. You know, I think that within the realm of running a department of 600 people and a $60 million a year budget, the people of this Commonwealth have really gotten their bang for the buck out of us. And I think you'll see me act in ways that are innovative, that are collaborative, that make things happen. Workforce development, let's sit down and talk to our vocational schools, our community colleges, our colleges and universities, even down to our high schools. And let's pair up with industries to, to talk about what it is that we need in terms of immediate training, certification, and the like, so that people are put to work in industries that will drive our great state forward. There are so many ways we can act, John, and I think that I have a record of demonstrated results for people in this state. Well, I wish we had more time because I wanted to talk some basketball with you, but I guess that'll have to wait till the next interview. Good luck with your campaign. If people want to find out more about you as a candidate, where can they go to do that? Go to morahealy.com and really 
just as it was when I was Attorney General. It's about people. I welcome people to join us in this campaign and in this effort to take Massachusetts to even newer and better places.